and welcome to Walking With My Dog. Um, I have Bailey with me, uh, he's just sat just down there watching me. Um, he's also waiting for this, more about that later. Uh, but today we're going to be doing some product reviews. So the two products we're going to look at are mainly to do with what do you do with your dog best when you're out and about. Um, local parks generally have bins but when you start to visit some of the bigger reserves, bigger uh, areas that you can start to walk then you tend not to find them uh, which poses a problem because obviously it's responsible dog owners uh, we do need to pick them up uh, but it's what we do with that bag afterwards so I've got two items um, that I'm going to look at today uh, the first one uh, is my initial purchase um, and that's a, uh, a bog bag uh, and you can see you can unzip just bear with me here unzip and put your your uh, well, <laughs> zip, zip, zip it back up there talk about prep but anyway we'll carry on uh, you can put your uh, bags in there and obviously pull them out through the hole there and then your dog business goes Hence the tennis ball goes in there, and then simply zip it all up. There is a there is a handle um, that you can carry that fits over your shoulder. Um, I took that off a while ago because uh, I used a carabiner to clip it onto my uh, rucksack. Um, so yeah, they cost around fifteen pounds. Um, not bad initially, but the problem with it is that it does leave a smell. You can still smell the dog mess. No matter what you try to do, you can still smell it. So, I decided to go for one of these. Now this is called uh, the Dicky Bag. It uh, comes in various sizes. This one is actually large, um, which I decided to get. You can see my hand there, it's about my hand's uh, height, my hand in height. Um, and these, cost twice the price of the bog however these are absolutely superb um, what do they come with they come with uh, just a little leaflet it shows you the various sizes uh, mine's large the very largest you can get is extra large it comes with a carabiner so you can either clip it to your belt, uh, clip it to your rucksack, um, yeah so I tend to clip it to my belt. You've also got a strap there that you can also attach it to your lead as well so uh, various ways you can attach it to yourself. It's a zip opening obviously and in there you've got some uh, a place to put your bags. To be honest I, I tend to leave these ones in here I don't really use them because I tend to um, have them dispensed from another thing that carries on my lead. Uh, more about that another time. Uh, but you also get one of these, which is uh, the Dicky Bag Air Freshener. Um, don't know if you can see that. Um, yeah, smells nice. And to be honest, it keeps the smell. But in all honesty, I've tried it uh, without that air freshener uh, because I forgot to put it in uh, and you can't smell it at all. You cannot smell it. It's made with neoprene. Um, it's an airtight fit, so it keeps the smell in. Um, you can wash it. It comes in various colours. Um, blue, red, camouflage. I've decided to go for the camouflage. don't know why. Uh, other than... Um, something different but the only problem is these are around or this one was 30 pounds so you look to pay 30 35 down to about 27 i think for the for the smaller sizes but having spent 17 pounds on that and 30 pounds on this i have to say i wish i'd have gone for one of these right from the start there's no smell comes out of these whatsoever and i can simply bring it home with me and dispose of it at home or if I get near a, a dog bin then they can um, dispose of it there so that's my review um, wouldn't be without this to be perfectly honest for my dog I'm gonna let him have this uh, tennis ball in a minute 
Uh, if you like what you do, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. Any comments appreciated. And um, if you want to subscribe, you can subscribe at the bottom there, I believe, at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I'm from Bailey as well. He's waiting for the tennis ball. Thank you.